Hello everyone, my name is Nikolai Kekesh, I am CEO at uh, mydataprovider.com and today I'm going to talk with you about web scraping and uh, integration web scraping with uh, Shopify store. Okay, let's do that step by step. Uh, you see on your screen uh, my data provider solution for web scraping and uh, how it works. Firstly, here is my account. Each client who works with us has own account with login and password. Under account uh, we have campaigns. Uh, each campaign is independent uh, data set for scrapping and uh, I could switch from one campaign to another. I created campaign demo and today I'm going to show you how to use it uh, how to easily manage it and you will see that it is really really easy solution for scrapping and for data import into Shopify store. I will show you all step by step. Okay, I created this campaign demo and uh, I created uh, settings for shin.com uh, website. So you see campaign has different web scrappers could could have different web, web scrapings and my campaign uh, has one uh, web scraper connected and how to understand that uh, this, com this campaign has one web scraper I go to web scraper section and I have, have here only one uh, active web scraper it is shein.com okay how to manage it how to tell web scraper to take data from specific uh, category or specific product URLs. Today I will show you how to extract data from specific categories. It's really easy. You go to configure button. You see here I have only one selected category. It is sporty category. Here is. So here is uh, this category at shane.com. How to tell application web scraper to extract data from the others category. Firstly you need to download custom grab catalog file. I, you click it and uh, text file will be downloaded. After you go to uh, your file manager open this file at text editor and you see the next um, file for configuration for data extraction. It's really easy. This part connected with category name. For example, if I want to add new uh, new category, I add new line, I put I put this sign, I go to category, for example, with t-shirts, t-shirt. I copy category URL, I go back to file editor it's enough and uh, now we have to upload this file back to application copy copy op, press upload you see right now we have Mm, two categories, one selected, the second not. If you want to extract two, uh, check all and and save. I will leave the first one. Okay. Um, additionally, we could uh, change margin. I will tell about that later. Right now, I will show you how to run Scrapper. It's really easy. You go to export and you press run export button and wait till it will be finished. If you want to, to set up a schedule you go to profile campaigns here you find your campaign demo go to schedule press add and for example to run uh, daily at five o'clock so it's necessary to input data in Encron format. It's really easily. Okay, and save results. How to run it? Let's press run button. You could add label for categories you want to extract uh, just understanding what is happening for this specific task. Each export 
it is independent task on the server it has a specific id and data will be extracted under this id and we see here statuses it will be changed uh, firstly it will be created after that processing after processing it will have status finished as previous as this task i tested today okay let's go ahead how to connect uh, web scraper with with this with shopify firstly you have your shopify store under store you have to go to apps apps you see yeah under apps you have to go to manage private apps and here you have to click on create new private app and uh, let's back to and after that you have to grant i, I created this app uh, private app tomorrow uh, and you have to grab uh, uh, grant the next permissions for this new app inventory access product listing access and product access yeah and give uh, for each uh, permission read and write permissions okay save it and copy api key and copy password uh, to text file it's really important and how to tell a web scrapper to extract data uh, to your shopify store it's really easily let's I show you go to export section go to config export and under config export you have here a uh, section for exporting to file and exporting to your CMS database in our case it is uh, Shopify you select here default you press here download my shop file click on it and uh, here you have uh, uh, it is text file with configuration you have here custom parameters and you need to specify your Shopify URL after that you need to specify here your key replace with your value and password also replace with your value save this file and uh, after that uh, upload to the application and at the end press save and data will be saved and now after that uh, web scraper application my data provider skill application will upload products into your store it will create new items if uh, it understands that it's new and it will update all update uh, prices for variants of a parent product or all together okay let's check this task it is still in progress let's go to results i received uh, yesterday and today okay uh, here is a store i connected to my account to my demo account you see here all product section and here is uh, products created it's really important to understand that if you want to make uh, data import automatically you need to start import data from uh, my data provider application into Shopify automatically why because uh, my data provider application creates meta fields uh, with uh, um, with uh, SKU with references uh, additionally for new items and it, it it will be used for data update if you want to update correctly uh, in the future uh, these items you need to create these items from my data provider it is really easily i show you how it works okay what extra options do you have uh, for data management firstly you could set up merging how to do that you go to web scraper section you go to configure section you go to change categories change plus margin and you could download template and here you need to download, tem download, template, download template button 
Okay, here is Excel file. You need to open this file at Excel or Open Office or LibreOffice. Uh, and if you want to set margin for category sport sporting, for example, 100%, you put here 100. If you want to add plus value, plus delta, you, for example, plus 5 USD, put here for plus 5 USD. Uh, for example, you could use it as um, as fixed fixed margin. Yeah, for you. Okay, save data and you could upload this file back here and it will be applied that's all it's really easy if you want to extract for example only uh, not all items but only limit list of items for example the first five items from category you could put here five or ten or 100. It's really easily. If you want to add prefix for SKU, for example, if you these items from Shein, I want to add SH and it uh, will add prefix SH for all items from uh, my data provider and uh, SKU will be saved as SH. Yeah, it's really easily. You could use it and to create items at your web store automatically and additionally in the future it will allow, allow you to update availability stocks levels yeah and um, prices for your items and uh, variants additionally it creates new variants at update variants yeah that's all about web scrapping uh, what i wanted to say you maybe I forgot to tell you about API access to the application. Let me show you. Maybe it is important for somebody from you. Okay, let's go to uh, how to how to manage uh, API access. You go to campaign sections. You see your uh, these sections at your screen. You go to configure, and here is the first. Uh, step you need to do here is to create new API key for your campaign. You click and new API key will be generated. It's really important. And the most important um, part of uh, this ta of this API is the next point. Campaign data latest get. Here is secret URL. You, we could open. Let's open this secret URL or copy link address. Here is here is endpoint, and here is part. This the next part is uh, your secret key. It allows you to download the latest file from Web Scrapper. The latest file. What does it mean? The latest file. It means the last successful extracted data. You mean you? I mean you remember that export section contains. Sec subsection export to file and here you could select uh, export format you need to to export specific campaign it could be excel csv xml json or the others a lot of variants are supported shopify also is supported here as a C csv format here is shopify you could export to shopify csv here and uh, let's back to API. Yeah. And API will download the latest campaign. I talk about this endpoint. The first two allows you to create task for export through API and to tell application, our scripting application, what product URL to extract. This endpoint allows you to create task and this endpoint allows you to check task status and wait till it will be finished. And this endpoint allows you to download result of specific task. You could use optional parameter task ID. Yeah. Okay, let's finalize uh, my presentation of Web Scrapper and uh, Shopify integration. I showed you 
how to run web scraper, how to select necessary categories, how to add margin uh, for your prices, how to create a private application at Shopify and I demonstrated how products will be imported into your store looks like looks at way you see product name created pricing created color created sizes created yeah it's really great images are pre presented here feature table fill it that's all thanks for uh, being with me I wish you all the best.